Ari Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shah, by Hashem Rakak Kudash. We give double honors to the apostles and the elders of the Great Millstone. And as it says, Shalom to all the Akim out here that's doing the push of the work in truth and in sincerity. Okay? Ultimately, every Israelite will be saved. Okay? But two thirds have to die. Okay? Now, I'm going to get that scripture before I um, start off. Um, Zechariah 13 and um, 8. It says, And it shall come to pass that in all, in all the land, saith the Lord, two parts therein shall be cut off and die. But the third shall be left therein, and I will bring the third part through the fire, and will refine them as silver is refined, and will try them as gold is tried. They shall call on my name, and I will hear them. I will say, it is my people, and they shall say, the Lord is my God, or my power. Okay, Yahweh is my power. Okay, Yahweh by Shem So, the Bible says, two thirds of Israel is going to die, okay, they're going to be cut off and die, now, um, the book of uh, Romans 11 and 1, right, I say then, have God cast away his people, okay, the ones that, that are cut off and, and die, right, it says, God forbid, I am also I also am an Israelite of the seed of Abraham of the tribe of Benjamin. Uh, God has not cast away his people which he foreknew. What ye not, what the scripture saith of Elias, which that's Elijah, how he makes intercession to God against Israel, saying, Lord, they have killed your prophets and dig down your altars, and I am left alone, and they seek my life. But what saith the answer of God unto him? I have reserved to myself 7,000 men who have not bowed the knee to the image of Baal. Even so then, at this present time, also there is a remnant according to the election of grace. Okay? And when you go into the remnant, okay, was that one third? That's that's that remnant that's going to return onto the Lord. Okay, that's what the uh, the the scriptures say. Okay. Um. This is uh Isaiah ten and twenty two. For though thy people Israel be as the sand of the sea, yet a remnant of them shall return. The consumption decreed shall overflow with righteousness. Okay? So only a few Israelites are gonna gonna return, okay, onto the Heavenly Father. Okay, and that's because that's the elect, okay? Um which that the elect is the hundred and forty four thousand, including the one third, okay, of Israel. Okay, which the elect the hundred and forty four thousand are a part of the one third okay um is uh eleven and seven Romans eleven and seven what then Israel have not obtained that which he seeketh for but the election have obtained it and the rest were blinded so the Lord put a blind or uh, uh, uh put blindness on the um the the rest of the people who aren't of the elect Okay, and the elect is going to obtain the truth, and they're going to get it. Okay, now this is um I'm gonna get uh Romans eleven and twenty six. It says, and so all Israel shall be saved, as it is written, there shall come out of Sion. The deliverer and shall turn away ungodliness from Jacob. 
okay? For this is my covenant unto them. And it's talking about the entire nation of Israel, okay? When I shall take away their sins, okay? All of the Israelites are going to have their sins taken away, okay? But two-thirds are going to have to die in their sins, okay? Is the I put die in sins. Uh, John eight and twenty one. Then said Yahweh again unto them, I go my way, and you shall seek me, and shall die in your sins. Whether I go, you cannot come. Okay. So the elect are going to get beamed up in the chariots, but two thirds of Israel are gonna gonna die here in their sins. Okay, in uh, Zechariah thirteen and eight says. Now continuing on, <clears throat> the Lord said that this is His covenant. Okay, where He He will take away uh, their sins. As concerning the gospel, they are enemies for your sakes. Okay, the word gospel means good news. Okay. And a lot of a lot of um, Israelites don't want to hear the good news, okay? That you're one of God's chosen people, okay? The Israelites are God's chosen people, okay? No matter how wicked they are, which they're extremely wicked, you know. You look at them, and you just you just wonder, like, you know, how, how like the Lord really. You know, he chose you. <laughs> you, you, you you're one of the most wicked people on this planet. And, he, you know, he chose you and you, 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 this is how you act? Well, guess what? That's because they're, 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 those people are blind. And they're enemies on to the good news. That's why they killed Yahweh Shah. Okay? It says, but it's touching the election. They are beloved for the Father's sake. Okay? So the elect are are. Our beloved, but guess what? The 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 uh, uh, nation of Israel is beloved on onto the Most High. Okay. It says for the gifts and calling of of God, Yahweh Bashem Yahshai, are without repentance. Okay, and the gift of being an Israelite or the calling of of uh, of the I should say the gift of being an Israelite, okay, is a beautiful thing, man. It's something that you, you just can't change, okay? That's what the Lord uh, uh, wanted uh, you to be, okay? Strong's G, 5486, Charisma. Charisma. Okay, and it says, a favor with with which one receives without any merit of his own okay so this gift that that you got of being an israelite okay that's something that you got that wasn't from from yourself okay so the 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 actually being an, an israelite is a beautiful thing okay it says for is you in times past have not believed God, yet have now obtained mercy through their unbelief, okay? Even so have these also now not believed that through your mercy they also may obtain mercy, okay? For God has concluded them all in unbelief, right? The two-thirds, that he may have mercy upon all, okay? It's talking about Israel, okay? So I'm going to continue on, okay? Ezekiel 39 and 25. Therefore, thus saith the Lord God, now will I bring again the captivity of Jacob, right? And have mercy upon the whole house of Israel okay so the Lord is going to have mercy upon the whole house of Israel okay 
word mercy is rakam in the in the Hebrew, okay? And that means to love, love deeply, have mercy, be compassionate, have tender affection, okay? Now, let me show you. Okay, compassion or forgiveness shown towards someone whom it is in within one's power to punish or, or harm. Okay, compassion, Sym sympathetic pity and concern for the suffering and misfortune of, of others. Okay, so the Lord is going to have mercy or compassion, okay, upon the whole house of Israel. And will be jealous for my holy name, which that's Yahweh, okay? And his son's name is Yahweh Shah. After that, they have borne their shame and all their trespasses, whereby they have trespassed against me when they dwelt safely in their land and none made them afraid. When I have brought them again from the people and gathered them out of the enemies, out of their enemies' lands, wherever the Israelites are. Here today, okay, the Lord is going to gather them out and am sanctified in them in the sight of many nations. Then shall they know that I am the Lord their God, okay, which caused them to be led into captivity among the heathen. So hold on. How are these people going to know that the Lord is their God, okay, if, and he put them in captivity? Because they're going to have to get brought back. Okay? The scriptures talk about reincarnation and, and regeneration. Okay? It says, But I have gathered them onto their own land and have left none of them anymore there. So the Lord isn't going to leave any more Israelite, okay, in captivity anymore. Okay? Neither will I hide my face anymore from them. For I have poured out my spirit upon the house of Israel, saith the Lord God. Okay. Jeremiah 50 and 20. In those days and in that time, saith the Lord, the iniquity of Israel shall be sought for. Okay. And there shall be none. So people are going to be looking like, yeah, surely the, the Israelites are going, going off. And they're not going to be able to find it. Okay, and the sins of Judah, and they shall not be found, for I will pardon them whom I reserve. Okay, see what the word pardon means to forgive. Okay, now the word pardon, okay, the action of forgiving or being forgiven for an. For an error or offense. Okay. Formal release from guilt. Obligation or punishment. Okay. So two thirds of Israel are going to be cut off here in, in America. And they're going to die. But guess what? They're going to be regenerated. And they're going to they're gonna, uh, come back in their right minds. Okay. Ezekiel 36 and 25. Then will I sprinkle clean water upon you, and you shall be clean from all your filthiness, and from all your idols will I cleanse you. A new heart will also will I give you, and a new spirit will I put, put within you, and I will take away the stony heart out of your flesh, and will give you a heart of flesh. And I will put my spirit within you, and cause you to walk in my statutes, and you shall keep my judgments. And do them, and you shall dwell in the in the land that I gave to your fathers, and you shall be my people, and I will be your God. And I will also save you from all your uncleannesses, and I will call for the for the corn, and will increase it, and will and lay no famine upon you. Okay. So in the in the kingdom, it's not going to be any more famines, and it's not going to be any more wickedness among the Israelites. And I will multiply the fruit of your tree, of the tree, and the increase of your of the field that you shall 
receive no more reproach of famine among the heathen. Then shall you remember your own evil ways and your doings that were not good, and so loathe yourselves in your, your own sight for your iniquities and for your abominations. Not for your sakes do I this, saith the Lord God. Be it known unto you, be ashamed and confounded for your own ways, O house of Israel. Okay? Continuing on. Now, in Jeremiah 31 and 31, okay, where it says, Behold, the days come, said the Lord, that I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah. Okay? And that's the same thing, okay, in Hebrews 8 and 8. For finding fault with them, he said, Behold, the days come, said the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah, not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day when I took them by the hand to lead them out of the land of Egypt, because they continued not in my covenant, and I regarded them not, said the Lord. For this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel. Okay? Everybody that, that, that's an Israelite, it says, after those days. Those days are talking about when they are cut off, the end days. Okay, saith the Lord, I will put my laws into their mind and will write and, and write them in their hearts and will and I will be to them a God and they shall be to me a people and they shall not teach every man his neighbor and every man his brother saying know the Lord for all shall know me from the least to the greatest for I will be merciful to their unrighteousness and their sins and their iniquities will I remember no more. Okay, so the two-thirds of Israel that are destroyed, when they come back as children in the kingdom, the Lord is going to be extremely merciful unto them. Okay, so ultimately, every Israelite will be saved. But two-thirds of them will die here in America and die in their sins. Okay, so with that, I want to say Shalom.